Okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll get started. So um, we're gonna earn our Girl Scout Ways, earn part of our Junior Girl Scout Ways badge today. And um, so this is one of my favorite badges because it incorporates our Girl Scout traditions. Um, I am a lifelong Girl Scout. Um, so those of you who are just popping on, my name is Casey um, from the Cincinnati Girl Scouts of Western Ohio office. Um, I am a lifelong Girl Scout, like I just said. I went K through 12, I earned my gold award. Um, and I also worked at summer camp when I was in college. So I have definitely become a lifelong Girl Scout, which is really cool that I get to now make it a career. So I'm really, really excited about that. Um, so to earn our Girl Scout Ways badge, there are five steps, just like all of our other badges. Step one is to match a song to an occasion. Um, step two is to celebrate the Girl Scout birthday. So we're going to do that today, but we're going to celebrate a Girl Scout unbirthday. Um, anybody who likes Alice in Wonderland, the Mad Hatter is one of my favorite characters of all time, and he celebrates unbirthdays. So if it's not your birthday, um, it's your unbirthday. So you get to celebrate every day that's your unbirthday. So that's one of my favorite things to do. Um, so we're going to celebrate that today, um, especially with it being Volunteer Appreciation Week and Leader Appreciation Day was on Wednesday. So um, we get to kind of celebrate those types of things. So I'm really excited to do that with you guys today. We're gonna, step number three is we're gonna share our sisterhood, which means we are going to make a time capsule. So I went, and since I'm visiting um, some family and helping out around their house this week, I was able to dig out my old Girl Scout stuff, which was really cool. I got to go down memory lane a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna make a time capsule with some of my old Girl Scout stuff, um, and then also with some new Girl Scout stuff as well. Um, we're going to do, well, step four is leave a place better than we found it. So we know as Girl Scouts, that's one of our big uh, pushes that we always try to do as Girl Scouts. We always leave a place better than we found it. Um, so we uh, will talk about some of the ways that we can do that right now, especially with our stay at home orders and things like that. Um, and then number five is enjoy a Girl Scout tradition. So I'm sure I know some people uh wrote in the comments their favorite girl scout traditions um so those are definitely some examples that we can take with us um and do those maybe with our family or when we're able to go back out um and enjoy with other people um and all those different types of things so those are our five steps we're going to do steps two and steps three today um so we're going to celebrate the girl scout birthday and share our sisterhood so the first one that we're going to do is step two and with that, that means we're going to celebrate our Girl Scout on birthday. And like I said before, we're gonna make a cookie cake um, because I'm not a big birthday cake fan. I don't know if anybody else isn't a birthday cake fan, but I can do some damage to a cookie cake. So we're gonna make a cookie cake um, with one of my favorite recipes and it's super easy. Um, and then we're gonna decorate it and then we're gonna move on to our other step. So let's see here. The first thing we was there, um, but this recipe is super, super easy. You literally need butter and cream cheese, one of each, oh, a stick of butter and a block of cream cheese, one egg, some cake mix. I like Funfetti cake mix or Funfetti cookies, so we're going to make some of those. Uh, some chocolate chips and some vanilla. So I buy the big bottle of vanilla because I use it quite a lot. So the first thing that we are going to do is A, Make sure we're doing this as we wash our hands. Um, since we are going to be cooking, you know, we always need to be, make sure we're super clean right now. So I'm gonna wash my hands real quick and then I'm going to soften my cream cheese and my butter. So if you guys are doing this at home and you guys randomly have these awesome ingredients in your kitchen, feel free to grab those real quick and we can make this stuff together. So let me wash my hands real quick, guys, because I've been touching my computer, so. So I'm out of paper towels, it looks like. So um, the first thing that we want to do is soften our cream cheese and our butter here. Um, so I've let this sit out for a little while, but it's still just a little, little, little cold. So I'm going to pop it in my microwave for like 30 seconds just to soften it up a little bit before I put it in here. And I'll be right back to put all of our other ingredients in there.
All right, so while that is kind of melting a little bit, um, we're gonna take our egg, crack our egg and put it in there because we're gonna need um, some moisture in there with our cream cheese. Um, and then we need one teaspoon of vanilla here. So I'm gonna pop this in here. So make sure you guys need some help. Make sure you ask um, your adults at home for some help. I know um, we're gonna use the oven. So maybe if you're gathering some supplies um, or ingredients still, ask them to turn the oven on. The oven needs to be at 400 degrees. Um, so, so maybe they can preheat your oven for you there. So I've got my egg and my vanilla in there. I'm gonna grab my cream cheese. There we go. So it's really, really, it's still a little soft there. So as long as it looks kind of like that, my sister's gonna mix it all up in there for me. I'm gonna dump that in there. Easy. You guys will notice, this is how I like to cook. So all my coworkers that are watching, I really don't measure much out. I just kind of dump things all together. So um, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna mix this. So I apologize, it's gonna be a little loud maybe as we mix that up. All right, and so I mixed it up just a little bit. So let me show you here. So it looks like that. I know it's kind of dark over here, but looks like that. So it's just everything's kind of mixed together. Um, so let's see, Patricia said, how much butter and how much cream cheese? So I use one stick of butter and one block of cream cheese. Um, I like fluffy and soft cookies. So if you like them a little more crunchy, maybe you can take a little bit of butter out um, and a little cream cheese out. It just depends on how you like your cookies, but I put a stick of each in. So a block of cream cheese and a stick of butter. Um, so now that that stuff is all mixed together, um, so all my wet ingredients are mixed together here. Let me move this over, all right? And I'm gonna take my cake mix. So make sure you help or ask for help from your adult um with your cake mix i know i am guilty i try to open cake mix this way and i usually end up throwing it everywhere so um ask them to help you with some scissors or a knife so i'm going to dump the entire package of cake mix here in my mixer All right I'm trying to keep my space a little clean so I don't have much to clean up later. I know I love to bake and cook, but I hate to do dishes. So um, that doesn't really go well, does it? Um, so I've got my cake mix in there. And so I'm gonna, now I'm gonna mix it all back up together here. I apologize, it's probably gonna get a little loud. But you can see it's kinda mixing it all together there. Turning it to dough. Right. You can stack it on and get the extra batter off. All righty. So I've gone ahead and now it looks just like this in here. So it looks like dough. Hopefully everybody can see that there. Um, and I'm gonna pull my, pull my, there we go. So I'm gonna get all the extra, extra batter off because, you know, I wanna make a good cookie cake. If you're at home and you're like my nephews, they love to lick the batter. So that's your choice. Make sure you ask your adult if that's okay. Um, but it does have egg in it, so you might not want to, but, um, my nephews never stops them. I'll clean it all off and they seem to find it. So, um, all right. So we're going to move. We're done with our mixer here. So now we have our batter. Oh, as I throw it on my laptop here, guys. All right. Um, so we've got our batter here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to um, just take our spatula, mix it around a little bit so you guys can see all this the sprinkles in there. All right. 
let's see here. And then I'm going to take my chocolate chips. So it depends on how much chocolate chips you guys like. I like a lot of chocolate chips. So I'm going to dump the rest of this bag in here. I usually use about half a bag of chocolate chips. And I like dark chocolate or semi-sweet chocolate chips. And these are the mini ones. But you can put whatever toppings you want in here. The nice thing about this recipe is that you can really use whatever cake mix you want and whatever toppings you want in it. So I know my mom, when she makes these, she makes chocolate. She uses chocolate cake mix and then she puts Reese Pieces in hers because she loves peanut butter and chocolate. So that's always really yummy too. So you can really do whatever you want with this recipe, which is really cool. So now our chocolate chips are in here and we're gonna just mix them and fold them in just like this. All right. So now my chocolate chips are all folded in there. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'm gonna attempt to not throw cookie dough on my computer here. All right, so it's all, all in there. This is the best part. I love this part because now I'm almost done. All right, so I'm gonna take my pan. So to make a cookie, you can turn these into just um, regular cookies and just ball them out on a pan or you can turn it into a giant cookie cake. So the way that I turn this into a giant cookie cake is I take a giant pan like this, I'm gonna spray it, and I'm gonna take my cookie dough, plop it in the middle, and just flatten it all out, which is gonna be awesome. So, let's see any others, there we go. All right, so let me spray my pan here real quick. And Echo's waiting patiently down here. He wants some fallen cookie dough. I don't think he's gonna get any. All right. So I've sprayed my pan. Definitely ask adult, an adult with you for some help if you need some help. And we're gonna take this and we're gonna plop it right there in the middle. We're gonna get our extra cookie dough out of here. All right. And now what we're gonna do, fix it here so you guys can see. All right, so I've got my giant blob of cookie dough and I'm just going to take it like this and I'm going to smash it all around and flatten it out just like this. So make sure your entire pan is covered or if you have too big of a pan make sure it's just nice and thin. Um, about no more than an inch thick I would say even a half an inch thick just smash it down just like this. I'm going to try to cover my whole pan here. not then we can kind of circle it up and make a make a cake so smush them all kind of like this there we go make sure our middle is flat all right that looks like a pretty decent cookie cake there all right so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to pop it in the oven so we're gonna cook it at four or bake it, sorry, at 400. Now I have cookie dough all over my fingers. All right, so we're gonna bake this at 400 for about, let's see, I think 10 minutes is too short when I make them as cookies. I usually do about 10 minutes, but I think for a cookie cake, since it's a bit bigger and it's a giant cookie, I'm gonna put it in for about 15 minutes and then we'll check it here in a bit. Um, so I'm gonna turn my timer on here. All right, all right, so afterwards. So, so to prep for this, I went ahead and I actually made an extra one this morning just to make sure it would turn out okay. So there's my original, if you guys can see that. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna decorate this one. And so my best friend has a birthday. So on my way out of town, I think I'm gonna drop this off for her but I'm gonna write happy birthday Girl Scouts on it and um yeah we're gonna celebrate and sing Girl Scout birthday here um but I'm gonna give it to her because I don't need to eat two cookie cakes I know my brother would be happy to eat two cookie cakes because he's here as well um but I don't need to eat two so I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna save it for my best friend Michelle drop it off at her house social distancing style um that way she has one two enjoy on her birthday in a couple of days so 
All right, we're gonna check out my cake decorating skills here. Um, now, I'm not a professional, so definitely ask your adults for help if you need help. Um, I use the cake uh, cupcake icing because it's super easy. I know my mom, if she was awake or up here, she would be screaming at me, telling me I need to make my own because she makes hers from scratch, but um, I'm not that talented. So <laughs> I'm going to use the cupcake icing and we're just gonna write happy birthday Girl Scouts. Hopefully this turned okay. All right, see here. Ah. There we go. All right. Let's see. Now it may not be super pretty, but it's not as good as my mom can do. But that's okay. Give it your best shot. It's all we can do, right? As Girl Scouts, give it our best shot. This is going to be an interesting uh, happy birthday. That's for sure. Maybe if I do it this way. You're gonna get a lot of icing in certain places. And that's all right, because it's your creation. So however you want to decorate it, that is okay. It's your creation. And I'm just gonna put B-Day. Ooh. This is harder than it looks, guys. Man, maybe I should have made my own icing might have been easier. Goodness. Ah. Here we go, girl. Because I write in cursive and in print letters. Ah. All right. There we go. It's not my best, but that is okay. I will, that was a nice little practice run there. So we've got happy V-Day Girl Scouts because um, we're gonna celebrate our unbirthday for Girl Scouts here. And then when my other one is done, I will decorate that one maybe later once it cools down a bit. So here. So that's how we kind of celebrate our Girl Scout unbirthday. So we will, um, I've decorated. I don't know if you guys saw those little things here, but I found a lot of my old Girl Scout things. So little me in my little brownie uniform here. Let's see what else did I find. Um, let's see. My junior vest with all my junior patches and badges. So that was kind of cool. Like I said, I got to go down memory lane, which was really, really fun for me. Um, and I'm sure when I'm done, I will go down memory lane even more. So um, as I found a whole box of my, my Girl Scout stuff. So, um, so yeah, so that is our, oops, I left my notes over there. All right. So that was step number two. So like I said, we're going to do steps two and three, um, of our Girl Scout ways badge. And, um, so step two was to celebrate the Girl Scout birthday. And step number three is to share your sisterhood. Um, so I figured it would be really cool, um, to celebrate kind of our sisterhood. And I know we're all kind of going through a really crazy and ever changing time right now, um, with everything that's going on, um, with COVID-19 and our, um, social distancing and things like that. So I thought it would be really kind of neat to make a time capsule, um, with what is kind of going on but to celebrate our Girl Scouts, which they, so yes, happy on birthday to Girl Scouts. So make sure when you guys are done, um, you celebrate Girl Scouts. Maybe you, you know, video call your troop uh, or just a friend and sing happy birthday to Girl Scouts or call your Girl Scout leader since it is volunteer and appreciation, volunteer appreciation week. Um, what better way to celebrate volunteer appreciation um, or your Girl Scout leader by singing happy birthday to Girl Scouts. Um, so that is that is really really cool um somebody asked to see my junior badges so my badges here let's see if i can kind of hold some of them up so that's what some of them look like ah 
I have to remember to go backwards here. So yeah, these are some junior badges from when I was a fourth and fifth grader. So in the late 90s, I'm going to age myself there. Uh, but late 90s, so that was kind of cool. It looks like I earned, let's see, my junior camper badge, my outdoor cooking, and my canoeing badge. My troop was a big outdoor um, troop, so we did a lot of camping and a lot of outdoor um, activities. So it was, we were always outside, it seems like. So, um, so yeah, I'll show some of those again here in a little bit. Um, but moving on to step number three. So I figured to celebrate our sisterhood, we could make a time capsule. So everybody make a capsule, make sure you get your stuff. Um, and I figured we could do this uh, to kind of commemorate kind of what's going on um, and how we are um, coping here at home and things like that. So um, Brooke, I believe, put these in our event um, on Facebook. So if you go to the GSWO or Girl Scouts of Western Ohio Facebook page um, and click on the Junior Girl Scout Ways Badge um, event, you should be able to find a Word document or PDF that has um, a little document that looks like this. Um, so mine I've cut out and made a little smaller because my, my container is a little smaller, so that way it all fits in there. So make sure you have your container container ready. Um, so if you guys want to do this, definitely feel free. I know a coworker shared this with me um, a couple days ago, and I was like, oh, that'd be a great thing to kind of put in um, our time capsule because, yeah, it, right now and when we're going through it, it's kind of um, – interesting it's an interesting time and it, it it seems a little overwhelming but it's going to be really cool to look back on this and kind of see what came of this and um how we, we managed to go through everything so um so this this little worksheet right here that brooke has put in the event it's got some cool little pages in it so um it kind of let's see the first page that i filled out was special occasions so it was what special occasions did we celebrate while we were social distancing or staying at home. Um, so we actually and my family celebrated a couple different birthdays, which was kind of cool. Um, we we uh, got to actually celebrate with people on their birthdays virtually, of course. Um, so we had some video calls. Let's see, the first birthday we celebrated was my brother's and we actually um, played a board game digitally. Um, and then we had a video call with my grandmother because she had her birthday actually on Wednesday on Earth Day. So that was kind of cool. Um, the next page is kind of how I'm feeling. So you can write down kind of how you feel, um, you know, what you're thankful for. I know I put what I'm thankful for. I'm thankful for my family and my Girl Scout community because I've been able to see all the cool things that the Girl Scout community is doing, um, which is great. Um, all the things that you guys have been doing or celebrating or posting have been really cool to see. Um, there's another one that says, you're not stuck at home, you're safe at home. So what you're doing to keep busy I know this is a big one. Everybody's trying to find fun ways to keep busy. Um, so I've, for me, I've been working out, trying new ways of working out. So different videos and different home workouts. I've been getting back into journaling um, and cookie and meal prep, cooking and meal prepping. So trying to get back into to those types of things. So taking this time to be a little more healthy. Um, there's another one that says my baby. So what you're doing. Um, the cool ones that I thought, the cool little pages here. Um, that I found are an interview with your parents. So it's got some really cool questions for you to interview your parents, which is really fun because I know that they're all working super hard to help everybody with their homework um, and things like that. So, um, so that's really cool. And then it's a letter from your parents. So you could ask your parents or your caregivers or whoever's in your home to write you a letter about kind of what they're going, what's going on, but also your hopes and dreams and you know those types of things. So I thought that was really cool to kind of commemorate this. So again, it's gonna be in our event here. So our Junior Girl Scout Ways badge event on the Girl Scouts of Western Ohio website. So you guys can go ahead and if you have that now, you can print it out and fill it out when we're done and kind of put that in our time capsule. But I'm gonna go ahead and this is my waterproof bucket here or a little um, plastic container. Um, I'm gonna write, you know, Girl Scout time capsule on it here in a little bit. Um, but I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it in there. So that's going to be my time capsule. Oh, that's going to go in there. Should probably here, let's flip it around this way so we can kind of see it. 
All right, so that's gonna go into my time capsule here. All right, so some other things that are really cool to put in your time capsule are things from your Girl Scout year. I know we like to commemorate some of those things on our vests and things, um, or little trinkets. And so what I did was I went and I pulled um, some things from different activities that I had done or patches that maybe never got sewn on my vest, which is I should have done that, but um, I pulled some things from different Girl Scout activities or from memories that I have. So the first one is a friendship bracelet. So one of my very best friends who actually, we have been in Girl Scouts together since we were in kindergarten. So she made me this bracelet um, a while ago and I never really wore it because it was super special and it looks really cool. She made it out of paracord. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put that in my time capsule. Um, let's see here. Some other things that I found, um, I found an old, my old, sorry, my Girl Scout kind of tabby. I know everybody puts these on their uniforms, which is great. I had an extra one. So if you've got an extra one later on, you can go ahead and put that in there or take a pin or maybe draw a picture of it and you guys can put that in there. Um, let's see. Oh, I found some really cool pot latches. So for those of you um, in Cincinnati, I know, or the Girl Scouts of Western Ohio, I know we call them swaps, but where, when I grew up, they were called pot latches. So um, we, I have a couple different pot latches from different things that I made at camp that I'm gonna put in here as well, just to kind of remember um, different things. So this was actually a swap so that we made, um, like I said, my Girl Scout troop was an outdoorsy troop and we liked to travel. So we made swaps every time we went somewhere. So we went to Savannah and we went to New York City and things like that. So we used to make swaps to kind of um, pass out to other Girl Scouts that we met. So this one's an American flag and these are the Girl Scout age levels um, from when I was a Girl Scout. So um, I think they're out of order actually, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put those in there as well. Um, I have a camp songbook that I found. Um, from when I was in camp or at my actually my volunteer day camp. So I'm going to put that in there. So again, you can put whatever you want in your time capsule. Um, you can put different things that, you know, you maybe you worked on or so fun, maybe a fun toy that you like to play with or something like that. Anything you guys want, you can put in that time capsule, anything that brings back a memory. Um, so you guys can put those in there. So that's all I'm going to put in here for right now. I'm sure when I go digging through the rest of my Girl Scout stuff, I will find more. But um, so yeah, I'm gonna screw that lid and I will put more things in there, I'm sure, as, as I go um, throughout the day and I find my different Girl Scout pieces here. So oh, it sounds like our cookie cake is done. Let's see how it turned out. Let me see here. Oh, you guys, it looks delicious. I don't know if everybody can see that, but it looks like a giant cookie. Echo's gonna try to sneak in there and get some, but you can't have any. So um, let's see here, let's turn our timer off. All right, and we're gonna pull this out of the oven. I will finagle, there we go. All right, so we're gonna turn our oven off. So again, make sure when you take that out of the oven, you ask an adult for help because we don't need anybody getting burnt, that's no fun doesn't feel very good. Um, all right, so, all right. Oh, the other thing that I wanted to put in my Girl Scout time capsule was, so when I was a junior Girl Scout, I believe, we sent kind of teddy bears with a memo pad around the world and had people um, kind of write notes in them. I don't know how we did this. My troop leader organized it. Um, but was, it was really cool was we wrote kind of a little, a little note kind of talking about ourselves in there. We stapled it in and we put a picture of ourselves in there. I don't know if this is to do now, but it was kind of cool. It was a cool memory to have. So that's little me when I was a brownie. So we were brownies, not juniors. Um, and we sent them around the world, which was really kind of cool. And they wrote, um, we had people that actually wrote us back and they sent them different places, which was kind of cool. So I had one from uh, somebody in, I think this one is Texas. I think somebody else from um, Massachusetts maybe got it. 
um, things like that. So it was really, really cool. I don't quite know how my Girl Scout leader did that, but it was cool to kind of go down memory lane and it was, it was really cool to see that. So I'm going to put that in my, um, my time capsule as well here. So again, you can put anything you want in there or in here, maybe if this will fit. Um, put this down here. Um, and so we're going to, ah, there we go. So like friendship bracelets, patches, letters, um, you know, something, a drawing, maybe you made a card or somebody made you a card. Um, that's really cool to put in there. Um, but yeah, decide what's special um, and put that in your time capsule and really celebrate your, your sister Girl Scouts and maybe share with, um, excuse me, somebody in your troop or your troop leader, kind of what you put in your time capsule and kind of make sure you put it, ooh, make sure you put it somewhere safe um, and kind of decide when or how long you're going to uh, leave it before you open it up again. So I know some people, I think I did a time capsule when I was in elementary school and we opened it 10 years later, which was really cool. Um, so yeah, that's kind of sharing your sisterhood. There's other ideas for, for that as well. So you can connect with somebody else who is a Girl Scout. So I, my mom was a Girl Scout. So it was really cool when I was kind of going through my stuff, I was able to connect with my mom and ask her about her Girl Scout experience. Fun fact, she also went to Camp Butterworth, so Girl Scouts of Western Ohio. She went to Camp Butterworth when she was younger because she lived in uh, Hamilton, so right outside Cincinnati, and that's one of our day camps, which I in turn worked at when I was in college. So that was kind of cool that we were able to find that little connection. Um, so talk to your, your mom, your grandma, your aunt, um, see if anybody has um, some fun Girl Scout stories that they're able to share and share that sisterhood with each other. So that's really neat. So those are our two steps that we completed. So you guys can complete the other steps on your own. The other steps are, um, let me find my stuff here. So our other steps were match a song. So number step number one was match a song to an occasion. So we had some really cool Girl Scout song Facebook Lives a couple weeks ago. So Mackenzie did those. So check those out in our events or our videos. Um, and maybe you can find some cool Girl Scout songs to share there um, or find just a regular, find a fun rainy day song that you like to make. Or you can even make up your own song, which is really, really cool. Um, step two was celebrate the Girl Scout birthday, which we did. We made a cookie cake and hopefully everybody was able to sing happy birthday um, or unbirthday at home. And then we also did step number three, which was share our sisterhood. So share kind of the fun things that we we like about Girl Scouts. Um, and like I said, we made we made a time capsule here. Oh, somebody's coffee maker is going off in my house. Um, so if you hear that, I apologize. Um, step number four is leave a place better than you found it. So we know that as Girl Scouts, we do this a lot, but maybe right now, a fun way to do that is who has brothers and sisters at home that constantly make a mess. So maybe they make a mess and they leave it, but it might be nice to help your parents or your caregivers out um, and help clean up that mess if they leave it. So that's one way we can do that, especially right now, since we're all kind of staying at home. Um, or you can check out one of our videos. We did a service Sunday about um, kind of leaving places better than we found it. So you can check out those. And then step number five was share a Girl Scout tradition or enjoy a Girl Scout tradition. So I know a bunch of people in the very beginning favorite Girl Scout traditions. I know mine was um, a closing campfire. Um, but share those traditions or enjoy one. So if you're able, I think it's supposed to be kind of nice today. So go out and share some of those Girl Scout traditions with your family. Maybe, you know, your family doesn't know some of those Girl Scout traditions. So you can share those with them, which would be really, really cool. So um, that's really all I have for our Junior Girl Scout badge. So hopefully everybody had a great time. You guys have a really yummy snack to enjoy here in a little while once it's cold and you decorate it. Um, and then you have a cool time capsule to work on with your family as well. Um, so put maybe you guys can make that kind of a Friday night fun activity to do with everybody. Um, so yeah, we're going to save this video in our event. So check that out when um it's all done and myself or brooke who was helping me out we'll make sure we get those answered here in a little while okay all right i hope everybody has a happy friday and happy unbirthday to anyone whose birthday it is not um and happy girl scout birthday and happy leader appreciation week and volunteer appreciation week to all of our fabulous leaders as well so all right i'll talk to you guys later see ya